Uh, hello, everyone. We are Team Apex. My name is Ethan. I'm the programmer. My name is Oswald. I'm the builder. And he is there. He's also the programmer. However, this is the overall orientation of a robot. The controller is based on SDM 32F7 and it has 14 analog pins for us, C pins and two URT pins. This is driver board. We have 5 PTN 7971B on the board. And this driver board provides cost effective solution for protecting high current PWM motor drivers. Board. Our boards are designed by ourselves using Autodesk Inventor and we chose to use fiberglass as the material. LiDAR. Our LiDAR locates the X axis of our robot on the court. And our LiDAR is elevated to prevent other components from blocking the sensor. Compound I version 2.0, also known as IR sensor, it locates the ball on the court. We have two compound I modules, each with seven individual infrared sensors. They hang under the middle board close to each other to eliminate all dead angles. Ultrasonic sensor. Our ultrasonic sensor has a high response frequency and a broad range. We have two, one at the front and one at the back. Our pixie detects the color of the goal and finds our robot's angle in relation to the goal. This supports our aiming technique. Absolute orientation sensor, also known as a compass, determines where our robot is facing, and we chose to use the IMU mode because it doesn't use any mag signal. Our motor's highest rotation speed is 700 RPM, and we put arming wheels for multi direction. Each of them is placed at a 45 angle degree. Tripling shooting motor, we put a rubber wheel instead of an army wheel to increase friction between the ball and it is placed at the front edge of the middle ball. While we build our program, we use a modular format so that it is easier to sort our program and to improve the and debug specific functions. The process of our robot program development is we first create a basic form of all the necessary parts for the program. All of our different parts of the function will be modified in different modules. In this situation, the program can play on the card with the basic function to dribble the ball toward the front. The next step is to identify the problem and the way to solve it. After problems are identified, we design an improved program for each of the functions one by one and test it after to, to identify other problems. This process continues until we finish with a good program. In this process, if there are any bugs in the code, we debug them by taking out the other functions and focusing on fixing the bug. The border is one of the functions that we change and improve a lot through the procedure above. For the border, my team utilizes a light sensor to identify when our robot is out of bounds and then uses math to calculate the time and speed it will take to return. The light sensor can detect color change in real time and provide feedback to the motherboard. The corners have always been the most difficult portion, as they can easily send the robot out of bound. As a result, we must continue to test and improve on it. Finally, we create a new successful code that is specifically for corners and can massively decrease the possibility of going out of bound from the corner by itself. The programming can tell whether or not the pro robot is on the corner and which one it is on. While the robot is stuck in the corner, it will trigger the new code. The robot can go back into the corner without getting stuck in the corner. The first bullet demonstrates how powerful an R kicker is and when it will be activated. The second bullet demonstrates the two modes of chasing ball. The rest shows our precise aiming and effective dribbling toward the goal, while also activating the kicker to kick toward the goal. We can see that our defensive robot always aligns with the ball. 
and no matter what it will never leave the penalty area as long as it is still in defense mode This is our defense robot switching to offense mode when the ball is lacking progress. It turns on the kicker and kicks the ball to the goal. While playing one on one, our offense robot uses various kinds of strategies to try to attack the goal. However, the defense robot can always easily block the ball. This proves how our defense robot is effective. We can also observe how our offense robot attack on not only specific spot, showing our offense is unpredictable. In this 2v0 situation, we can see that our offensive and defensive robots barely bump into each other. They stick to their roles perfectly and doesn't interfere with each other. If our offensive robot misses a ball, our defensive robot blocks it, showing that they work perfect, perfectly together. To complete this challenge, we combine some of our old functions in our robot and some new ideas. The first step of every ball is to get the robot out of the corner and traverse near the ball. If the ball is in position SW or SE, our robot aligns with the ball first, then aims at the goal and dribbles with a slant. On the other hand, if the ball's position is NW or NE, our robot will first approach the ball, then aligns with it, and shoot at last. This method can help us stabilize the result without having to take a risk for every ball. The most effective strategy used in this challenge is our aiming. Since all the positions are not directly in front of the goal, aiming is extra important. This challenge proves that our aiming is accurate and effective. Reflection and improvement. Our improvement on offense. Our strength is definitely our speed and precise aiming. Mean, with those two techniques combined, we can score easily. Our weakness is our prediction. Our robot seldom takes the wrong path and resulting in lack of defense and attack robot at the moment. And also our force is too weak. The strength of our robot is the strategy we add of defense switching mode. This can massively increase the chance of scoring while opponents are out of bounds or a penalty. Also, the strategy for preventing pushing goal which is add more power while pushing can decrease the chance of getting pushed out. The weakness we found in our defense robot is that the accuracy of shooting in attack mode is too low.